Hi, friends. Michael Albert here. And I'm here to record another video demonstration of an art project you might want to try at home. Um, I started out by showing you my abstract collage, which is made from little bits and pieces of colors and patterns from all different packages that I uh, cut from cereal boxes and cookie boxes and crackers and all sorts of cardboard packages of things that we get at the store. And um, I'm going to show you a few suggested ideas on how you can use colors from packages to do a couple of different project ideas. And then it'll be up to you to decide if you want to try one of these ideas, or maybe it'll spark a thought in your mind about some idea you want to give a try that you think of. And um, one of the things I really love about all these packages that I use in my art, um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm mostly known for making collages out of cereal boxes, cookies, crackers, anything that comes in a cardboard box that you get at the store. And um, what I love about these boxes is that they're full of different colors. They have cool characters on the label. A lot of them have letters, words, phrases, and pictures of things like here, these are the Honey Nut Cheerios, and here's the Honey Bee um, drizzling honey over the cereal, and there's a heart over here, and on this Ritz cracker box, there's uh, cheese and crackers and little words and phrases and even numbers, letters. So what I've been doing for a number of years now is making different types of artworks out of these packages. Um, one of my projects is just cutting a box up into pieces like this, Frosted Flakes box, and making a collage out of it. I produced another video just showing how to do this project, but I'm going to show you a few different ideas of what you might want to do just using the color of the package. And to do this project, what you need is, um, ideally what you would need is a few different types of boxes. So maybe you want to look around your house and see what kind of packages you have that come in cardboard boxes. I mean, besides the cookies, the crackers, and the cereal boxes, some other ideas might be tea boxes or soda cartons, ice cream um, pops, sometimes come in a cardboard box, frozen pizza, Ziploc bags, uh, you know, all, all the store brands um, that, you, that you could get different things all come in cardboard, Band-Aids, toothpaste, um, you get the idea. And depending on what boxes you're able to accumulate might also determine what type of project you want to do. Um, so I'm going to show you a few of my color-based ideas. The first one I showed you already was this abstract artwork where all I did was take little bits and pieces of color and formed them into an abstract art. And now one thing that I always do in my work, which I wanted to show you right here, is I put my initials M-A for Michael Albert. And if you wanted to put your initials in your work, you can do that. Um, I do think it's very important that artists sign their work. And this is the way that I sign my collages on the front. On the back of all of my collages, I always write my name, I write the date, and I sign my autograph. I can show you an example of that. I have one right up here. Here's actually a collage I made because of the uh, quarantining situation we're in now, flattening the curve, you know, the idea of socially distancing ourselves from each other so that the, we don't transmit the virus to each other and they call that flattening the curve and here you could see I cut all little pieces of color I cut out letters and spelled flatten the curve and then down here are my initials MA but on the back of my work 
I sign my name, I give my work a title, I write, I have this little squiggle I created, maybe you want to create your own squiggle, and then I write the date. This was done on March 15th, 3 15 20 this year, and I'd made it at 9.52 p.m. in the nighttime when I was working in my studio. But um, here are a couple of other ideas you might consider where you would take the color of the packages to make a picture. And the first one I wanted to show you was my American flag. And with the American flag here, I took red pieces from a Coca-Cola carton and blue pieces from an Oreo cookie box. And I created my own American flag. And I thought this was kind of interesting because even though you don't see stars or stripes, you can still kind of tell that it's an American flag. Can't you? Um, and in order to make a flag, like you might take some red from this Ritz box and you might take some blue from this Ranzoni pasta box and form your own flag. You can also do flags of other countries or your state's flag um, or make up your own flag. So the flag is the first idea. Now another suggestion would be to do something like this heart that I created. Now with this heart, I spent some time collecting all sorts of images from packages that I had in my studio that were all red. That's what they all have in common. They were red, but they were from all sorts of different packages. And what you can do is take your cardboard base. Remember I showed you before that to make your collage, you're gonna need a base to make, your, to make it and that you take a piece of cardboard about this size, which could be the back of a writing pad or a drawing pad or an insert from a box or even a shipping box that you get and cut a piece out of that. But what I would suggest to do if you want to try to make your own heart is draw a heart on your cardboard like this and then cut a bunch of pieces and fill in the space inside of your heart. And your heart doesn't have to be all red like mine. It could be all different colors or some other color, or it could be more like a rainbow. It's totally up to you. But the heart is another color-based collage idea that you might want to try. Another one that I have is when I do flowers. Sometimes I cut pieces from boxes and try to recreate flowers or trees. And I call these brandscapes because they're a landscape is a is like a nature scene. But a brandscape is a nature scene that you make out of brand packages. I made that up. But you could see here I have a bunch of poppy flowers, which are the red flowers that have the black inside. I used green from some different boxes to make the stems and the leaves, and red from some boxes to make the petals, and then black to be the inside. And then I took blue pieces from different packages to be the sky. And if you look up here, I cut a few yellow pieces to represent the sun. And then over here, I put an MA, my initials, which is what I do in all of my work. And you might wanna try the initials, you don't have to. But you could do one flower. This was a whole um, field of poppy flowers, but you could make a flower collage that's just one flower if you like, or a tree, or a lake or a mountain or anything like a nature scene. So that's one other project that you might want to try where you would use the color of the packages. And then finally, I have this one last idea. And this one is called the kitchen. And this took a while. And, you know, to do projects that have detail like this, they take time and they take a lot of effort. 
but it's very rewarding, I think, to work hard on a project and come out with a result of something that you um, put so much effort into. You know, in this case, again, I took the same packages that I just showed you, and I looked for colors and patterns and cut out different shapes and pieces to kind of represent a kitchen scene. This is supposed to be a kitchen. And I think you could make certain things out, like here's a loaf of bread, this is an eggplant, here's a watermelon, an apple, this is a, a bowl of, supposed to be a bowl of lemons and limes, here are some cherries, um, and this bowl over here has little green pieces all on top of it, that's supposed to be a salad. I even took little pieces of crackers and put them in there. And then in the bottom corner over here, I actually cut a real raspberry and a real blueberry, which I think came from a box that had cereal in it. Um, I cut some shapes to look like jars. I tried to make a window here. It's supposed to look like a window. Up here are tiles that are different shades of blue that are supposed to be the sky if you look outside the window. So this was just an idea that I called the kitchen. So these are just a few of the ideas that I've come up with using different colors of packages. And, you know, like I said, it's now it's up to you to think of some idea Take, look around your, your house and see if you could accumulate a collection of boxes. And then take your scissors, cut pieces out, lay them on your board. I do have this saying, no gluing until you know what you're doing. And so what I'm saying is that you can cut your pieces out and lay them on top of your board and move them around and try to make it look like you like you want them to look. And then when you're happy with the way it, it looks, then you can glue it down and see what you come up with. And you know, there's, there's no wrong way to do it. And the most important thing when you're being creative and trying to come up with art is to relax. Maybe you wanna put some music on. Um, if you're working on your kitchen table or some table, you might want to put some newspaper down underneath it so you don't get glue on your table. Um, very important to be very careful with your scissors. Scissors are sharp and um, we don't need to wave them around or anything. They're a tool that we use to do a specific thing, which is to cut the pieces out for your art project. So enjoy trying to do your own color-based collage and hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and I will look forward to recording a couple more videos for some different project ideas for you okay so thanks so much for listening have fun at home and I will catch you soon okay bye friends